right, over the past month, I've been playing these new high-tech reads from Daddario called Ven. I've been playing them on my Alto and on my Tenor, and I've been comparing them with the Leger synthetic reads that I've been playing for the last few years. The real question that I wanted to ask, though, because I'll be honest with you, there's some things I really like about the Ven, and some things I'm not so much a fan of. But the question I wanted to ask for you, really, and for me, is are they actually better than Leger? Well, that's what we're going to be digging into in today's video. So the thing about cane reeds for us sax players is it's probably the most frustrating part about playing saxophone, right? I mean, they're inconsistent, they wear out, they literally change with the weather. You seem to spend all of your time trying to find a good cane reed. And that's the reason why loads of us sax players have started switching over to synthetics. There's some good ones out there, there's some that I don't really like. But if you've been watching my videos for a while on YouTube, or if you're a member of our Sax School membership community, then you'll know that I'm a big fan of Leger reeds. I've been playing them for a long time. But these Ven reeds, they sound really, really great. Are they really, really good? Let's find out. I'm gonna start with the positives. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say that although I play Leger reeds now, for like 30 years before that, I pretty much hated every synthetic reed I tried, and I really did try all of them. Because every time I tried a synthetic reed, they always left me feeling a bit dissatisfied. They weren't responsive enough, they were too bright, they just didn't have the sound that got me excited about playing saxophone. But all that changed when I found Leger, particularly their signature reeds, I think they're great. And although they don't look like a real reed, they play fantastic. And most importantly for me, every time I pick up my sax in the studio, they work. They're not changing all the time, they're very, very consistent. But one of the problems with them, of course, is being able to put them on your mouthpiece because you just can't see where they fit on the mouthpiece. Maybe that's just me getting old. But that does bring me to the first thing that I really love about Ven reeds. So at first glance, the Ven actually looks like a real reed. I mean, look at it. It looks like a really perfect reed, but it looks like a real reed. In fact, Daddario describes the Ven as an advanced synthetic reed constructed of polymer fibers, resin, and natural cane elements. All sounds pretty fancy to me, but what it means to us as sax players is you've got something that looks and feels like a real reed. And most importantly, when you put that on your mouthpiece, it's just dead easy to see where it lines up. Maybe it's a small point but it's a biggie for me. Now the second thing that I love about the Ven reeds is that you can actually adjust them. So if you use a reed geek or a reed knife, you can work on a Ven reed the same way that you'd work on a normal reed. And this was actually important to me because one of the things I struggled with with the Ven reeds was getting the sizing right. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second. This reed was a bit hard for me on the tenor, so I had to lighten it up a little bit. Now, they've told me at Daddario that you can't clip the end of a Ven reed, but you can work on the front of the reeds, just like you would with a cane reed. And to be honest with you, it feels and responds the same way that a cane reed would. Now, I think that's a massive positive because synthetic reeds are expensive, right? And you don't always get the reed that's right for you. Leger reeds, we can't adjust them. The Ven, we can. That's a big tick in my book for the Ven reeds but the sizing was a bit of an issue. I'll get to that in a second. Now, the third thing I really love about the Ven reeds is that they're just a little bit brighter than the Leger reeds. And that's fantastic if you're playing something that's a bit edgier or you need a bit more volume. Like, for example, uh, a David Sanborn, a funky thing, a commercial thing. I quite like the extra raspiness of it. In fact, have a listen to this and see if you can work out which one is the Ven and which one is the Leger. <laughs> So it's not all good news because there were a few things that I didn't like about the Ven reeds. Here's the first one. Now I don't know if it's just because I've gotten used to how durable the Leger reeds are, but I actually managed to break one of my Ven reeds. I've chipped it right on the end here. I haven't broken a reed forever actually. The Daddario guys were great though. They did send me out a replacement. Thank you Daddario, you're wonderful. But 
I just wonder, are they a little bit more fragile than the Leger reeds? Maybe they're not quite as durable, so you've got to be careful with them like a normal reed. Now the biggest thing I struggled with with the Venn reeds was getting the sizing right. Daddario were really helpful and they did give me some advice on which reed would be compatible with what I'm using currently. So I use a 2.5 or 2.75 Leger. But they sent me some size twos and some two and a halves. Now, I'll be honest with you, the two and a half Ven, way too hard for me, because I'm using quite a light setup these days. But the size two, even that was a little bit hard, hence why I had to use my Reed Geek and adjust the Reed. So I think the sizing is a little bit confusing, and if you're looking to go and try one of these Ven Reeds, then you need to do a bit of digging around before you make a decision on which size is gonna be right for you. It's probably gonna be a smaller size than what you expect. Now there's just one other thing that I struggled with with the Ven Reeds. I mentioned before as a benefit that they are quite bright. But to be honest with you, sometimes I find that they're too bright. For me, when I'm recording videos for Sax School, I'm doing a whole range of things from classical to pop to jazz to blues. And sometimes that edginess is just a little bit too hard to control. So for me, I think maybe they're a little bit too bright. And also, I found on the tenor, I struggled to get uh, altissimo notes out really clearly. Uh, with the Leger, it just seemed a little bit more solid for me up in the altissimo. Maybe that's because I've been playing the Legers for a long time, but even over this last month, I've still struggled to get a consistent, good sound up in the altissimo on the Ven Reeds for me with my mouthpiece. But the brightness is an issue too. Have a listen to this next clip and see if you can work out which one's the Ven and which one's the Leger. Now just before I reveal which read was which in those little playing demos, we need to talk about value for money and price. So the Ven reads are about 27 to 30 pounds or 28 to 30 dollars, depending on whether you're going for alto or tenor. And that's just a couple of pounds cheaper than the Leger signatures, which go from about 29 to 32 pounds or 33 dollars to $35. Either way though, they are a lot more expensive than cane reeds, we know that already. I mean, that's way more than you'd pay for a box of five select jazz cane reeds, and around about the same as you pay for a whole box of 10 classic Rico reeds. But of course, with synthetic reeds, you're getting a reed that's gonna be more consistent and last a lot longer. I mean, to give you an idea, a Leger reed for me will last three months of playing them every day, which is amazing. And over the past month of playing the Ven Reeds every day, they haven't changed, they've been consistent, they've played the same every single time I've picked them up. Okay, so it's time to reveal which read was which. Did you get them right? Let's have a listen. <laughs> So how'd you get on? Were you able to pick the difference between Ven and Leger? You know, I really enjoyed the Ven reads this month, and to be honest, I'm gonna continue playing with them because I do think they're an interesting read. But for me, I think Leger reads 
still kind of fill all of the needs that I have because I'm playing lots of different styles, because of the type of playing that I'm doing and the mouthpieces I'm using, I think Legere suits me better, but I think the Venn are a great option. But if you want to check out the American cut reads from Legere, here's a video over here where you can go watch next.